Welcome to the channel. Today, we'll be configuring a router running the OpenWRT firmware. Before we begin, please support my channel with a like and a comment. Also, remember you can become a sponsor and help the channel grow financially. Let's get started. 1. Preparation for setup. If the router is not new and has been used before, reset it to factory settings. To do this, power on the router and press the reset button with something thin for 30 seconds. After that, wait about a minute. Connect the internet cable to the internet, or one port it may be blue, and connect your PC via cable to one of the yellow ports also may be labeled as LAN. Note, configuration should only be done via cable, as Wi-Fi is disabled by default on this firmware. Now open any browser and enter the following in the address bar. 192.168.1.1 Use the following credentials to log in. Username, root, password, leave empty. 2. Internet access configuration. In the top horizontal menu, go to network greater than interfaces. You'll see a page with different interface settings. Find the WAN interface and click edit to configure your internet connection. In the protocol field, select DHCP client or the protocol used by your ISP settings may vary depending on the connection type. Then click save and apply. 3. Configuring the local network LAN for optimal local network performance. You need to properly configure the LAN interface. Access LAN setting. Go to Network, Greater Than Interfaces. Find the interface labeled LAN and click Edit. Basic Address Settings. Protocol. Keep a static address. IPv4 address. Default is 192.168.1.1, but you can change it. To another private address, like 192.168.0.1 or 10.0.0.1. IPv4 Net Mask usually 255.255.255.0. 200s you can leave it or change as needed. IPv4 gateway and broadcast, typically left empty for LAN. DHCP server settings. Go to the DHCP server tab. Ensure ignore interfaces not checked. Start. Set the starting IP for the DHCP pool, e.g. 100 means 192.168. 1. Limit. Number of addresses in the pool e.g. 150 equal to 192.100 and 68.1.100 to 100 and 92.100 and 68.1.249. Least time, default is 12 hours minus adjust if needed. You can also enable force to ensure this DHCP server is used even if another one is detected. Advanced DHCP setting. In advanced settings, you can configure dynamic DHCP, enable for dynamic IP assignment, recommended. Force, prioritize this DHCP server. DHCP options. 6. 192.168.1.1. Sets DNS server. 3. 192.168.1.1. Sets default gate. Static leases. Optional. Scroll to static leases section and click add. Enter the device's MAC address, desired IP, and optionally a host name. Click save. Check physical interfaces. In physical settings, ensure correct physical ports are assigned to LAN. Add or remove ports as necessary. Apply changes. Click Save and Apply. Important, if you change the LAN IP address, reconnect to the router's web interface using the new address. 4. Wi-Fi configuration in the top menu go to Network Greater Than Wi-Fi. As mentioned, Wi-Fi is disabled by default. Click Enable to activate it. Then click Edit on the Wi-Fi interface, Channel, Leave on Auto or select a specific one. Transmit Power, e.g. 17 dBm 50 MW. Mode, set to access point, ACID. Enter a network name, letters, numbers only. Click save and apply. To configure security, go to the wireless security tab. Encryption, WPA2 PSK mixed mode, cipher, force TKIP and CCMP AEE. Key, set your Wi-Fi password recommended, 8 minus 12 plus character. Click save and apply. Then go to advanced settings. Set HT mode 802.11 in to 40 MHz for better performance note. Some older OS like Windows XP may not support 40 MHz. Click Save and Apply. 5. 
Security settings to enhance router security. It's recommended to change the admin password. Go to system greater than administration. Enter a new password in the password field. Confirm the new password. Click save and apply. Six, firewall configuration. OpenWRT comes with basic firewall settings, but you can improve them. Go to network greater than firewall. In the general settings tab, ensure enable SYN flood protection is enabled. This protects your router from SYN flood attacks, which can exhaust system resources. In the zones tab, ensure the following for the WAN zone. Input equal to reject. Blocks all inbound connections from the internet. Prevents direct router access and unauthorized access. Reject sends a response that access is denied, unlike drop, which silently ignores. Forward equal to reject blocks access from the internet to your local devices. Protects all devices in your LAN by turning your router into a proper firewall. Click save and apply. Seven, firmware updates. To stay up to date and secure, it's a good idea to update the firmware regularly. Go to system greater than software. Click update list to refresh available package. After that, go to the updates tab and install available update. Eight, DNS configuration to improve internet performance. Configure DNS servers. Go to network greater than DHCP and DNS. In the DNS forwarding section, add public DNS servers like 8.8.8.8, Google 1.1.1.1, Cloudflare. Click save and apply. Restart the router, connect to your Wi-Fi network and enjoy the internet. This concludes the basic setup of your router running OpenWRT.